I'm Jim Magner, Vietnam combat vet, professional artist, and writer. My wife Karen and I were recently in Athens. The city is named after Athena, a goddess of art and warfare. Pairing the most elevated form of human invention, art, with the most base, warfare. Those of us who have gone to war have suffered trauma. But combat isn't the only cause of PTSD. You have all suffered traumas and you all carry the burden of post-traumatic stress. But combat PTSD is the most explosive, maybe, because it's not personal. That's the overlooked part. It's shared, a group experience. I was a platoon leader making life and death decisions constantly for the 40 or 50 men who put their faith in me. If one of them died, I was devastated. But whether you were a platoon leader, a squad leader, or just a foxhole buddy, or a general, you felt a deep personal responsibility to keep the others alive. They felt the same about you. So combat is a cocoon of danger, but also one of closeness, sharing. When you leave that cocoon, you can feel very alone, hollow, even if you have a family and people who love you. By leaving, you have lost a part of what makes you human, the base part, the fight to survive with others. That needs to be replaced with the most elevated of man's natures, the ability to see and understand beauty the ability to see and make art. But to see beauty, you have to see beautifully. You must look with an exalted effort. It can't be casual. To see it, to really see it, you have to stop. Let it come to you. And to value art, you must also give value to the artist. When you look around this room, you see beautiful artists, men and women who understand both the base instincts of combat and the fantastic mysteries of art. You have to reach out to connect, touch hands, touch minds. These works are barred, are, are surviving, dreaming, searching, and sharing their secrets. These artists are, have power and pride. You will feel it and be exalted.